Hello friends, welcome to Tricks. Today we will try to understand value added tax. Value added tax is a kind of indirect tax. I have already made a video on Tricks to remember different kinds of direct taxes and indirect taxes. You can watch that video from the link in the description below. Indirect taxes are the taxes in which the point of incidence and the point of impact are different. What does this point of incidence and point of impact means point of incidence means where the taxes have been imposed and point of impact means where the actual payment of taxes takes place for example when you buy anything there is written in the label inclusive of all taxes it means when you are buying something the taxes are included in the cost of that product so ultimately the consumers are paying the taxes which is included in the cost of that product that is the point of impact means where the actual impact of taxes are felt however the point of incidence was at the point of manufacturing and selling so point of incidence was different but point of impact is somewhere else while in the direct taxes both point of incidence and impact is same which means when you draw a salary from a company or the government it is you who is liable to pay the taxes you cannot shift this liability to somebody else you cannot shift this liability to your wife or children or a member in of the society while in the indirect taxes liability is shifted to the consumers so value added tax is a kind of indirect tax value added tax means taxation on the value addition now let me explain how taxation was done before the VAT was introduced. Consider there is a lumbering company which sells log to the carpenter. Now assume that this lumbering company sells a log in rupees 100 to the carpenter and the tax rate is 10%. Then at this rate, this company will pay rupees 10 to the government as tax. Now this carpenter makes a furniture out of that log and sells to the furniture company in rupees 200 now at the rate of 10 percent tax will be rupees 20 this carpenter will give 20 rupees tax to the government this furniture company will finally sell the furniture to the consumers in rupees 300 so at the rate of 10 percent it will pay 30 rupees tax to the government so the total tax paid to the government is 20 plus 30 plus 10 which is rupees 60 now what happens in value addition taxes again consider that the rate of vat is 10 percent and remember the tax is on only value addition so this lumbering company will sell the log to the carpenter in rupees 100 in cutting the trees and making the logs it has added some value to the logs and selling it in rupees 100 tax paid by this lumbering company is rupees 10 this carpenter adds the value to the log by converting it into a furniture chair or sofa sells them to the furniture company in rupees 200 so the tax will be rupees 20 at the rate of 10 percent but the input cost in rupees 200 is rupees 100 so value addition is only rupees 100 therefore tax will be only on rupees 100 and not 200 although this carpenter will pay the tax of rupees 20 to the government but the tax which have already been paid on this input cost which is rupees 10 will be reverted back to his account so ultimately he is paying only rupees 10 to the government that is tax on the value addition of rupees 100 then this furniture company will sell the consumer the final product in rupees 300 value addition is of rupees 100 this outlet has put the sofa in the shop has put some labels on that so some value has been added it is also selling its services so value addition is again rupees 100 since the input cost of us rupees 200 it bought the furniture in 200 and selling them in rupees 300 so tax will be paid rupees 30 but the tax that has already been paid on the input cost that is rupees 200 and tax was paid rupees 20 that will be reverted back to the account of this furniture shop so minus 20 final tax paid by this furniture shop is 30 minus 20 rupees 10 so the total tax received by the government is rupees 10 plus rupees 10 plus rupees 10 
So the final tax is rupees thirty. In the earlier case, the government was receiving ten plus twenty plus thirty, which was rupees sixty. But now it is getting just rupees thirty. You will say that in the VAT regime, government is losing money. But in actual terms. government is gaining because the government was not able to collect that 60 rupees taxes and there was so much of tax evasion but in this vat regime the tax compliance is 100% because if this carpenter wants to get back the taxes paid on the input cost that is rupees 10 it has to keep the receipt else this 10 rupees will not be reverted back to his account and he will have to pay the entire amount that is rupees 20 so in this way the vat regime ensures the compliance and the government is able to receive the exact 30 rupees so this is how vat is better than the other tax regime hope i was able to explain you this value added tax if you want me to make more such videos please post that in the comment and don't forget to like the video subscribe to our channel thanks for watching have a nice day